In a somewhat alarming development, a 15-meter asteroid was involved in a narrow miss with the Earth over the weekend, according to Russian scientists. It wasn't actually detected until Friday night, yet it flew within 11,300 kilometers of the Earth's surface below the orbit of geostationary satellites. And it's interesting, of course, that this was discovered by Russian scientists given what happened back in February when a meteorite weighing 10,000 tons exploded over the Shebelinsk region of Russia, causing 1,500 injuries. And that, of course, caused some consternation at the time because it coincided with the passage of asteroid DA-14-2012, which, of course, was a much larger body, coincided with the meteor impact in Russia. Of course, the panic that was caused by the Russian meteor, given that it was a surprise event, prompted the UN and Russian experts to call for the creation of a new organization that would focus on tracking near-Earth objects. Which again ties into this narrow miss over the weekend, because the asteroid that flew within the orbit of geostationary satellites, 11,300 kilometers of the Earth's surface, flew by just nine hours after it was initially discovered. So basically they had no warning of this asteroid whatsoever. It came as a complete surprise to everybody. So this will only reignite debate about the threat posed by near-Earth objects that are not currently being tracked adequately by governments or space agencies. NASA has a plan to snag an incoming asteroid, park it around the moon's orbit, and then send out scientists to mine it, explore it for scientific purposes, and then potentially smash it into the moon itself. One potentially deadly asteroid that we are aware of is called Apophis. It's set to next pass the Earth in 2029. It's 325 meters in diameter, that's 1,066 feet. And in 2029, it's going to pass within 36,000 kilometers of the Earth's surface, again within the orbit of geostationary satellites. Experts estimate that it has a 2.7 chance of impacting one or more of those satellites and causing some disruption. But then in 2036, the same asteroid is going to make another pass of the Earth. And in contrary to this spooky demo of what might happen, it is actually going to get closer. We're going to have a greater probability of being hit, but it's still only 1 in 250,000 chance of the Earth being impacted by this asteroid. Now, that sounds very remote because it is, but it's still more likely to happen than you getting struck by lightning. So that kind of puts it in perspective. Russian experts are seemingly a lot more concerned about it. The Russian Space Federation uh, have hinted that the threat is in fact more serious than is being made out. And they've made uh, attempts to begin a program to potentially deflect this asteroid as it approaches the Earth. So, although it was as no means as big as the asteroid depicted in this simulation, I just find it interesting that we had an asteroid pass within 11,300 kilometers of the Earth's surface on Friday night. Scientists only discovered it nine hours before it passed the Earth. And basically nobody knew about it in the public arena until Monday morning. So this will only serve to reignite debate about the threat posed by near-Earth objects as we get closer to the big one, Apophis, as it heads towards the Earth, set to make a bypass in 2029, and an even closer one in 2036. So that's why governments continue to work towards deep impact style technology to try and deflect these asteroids as the threat looms larger. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for InfoWars.com.